China in recent years has sharply increased its exports of weapons and security services to Africa, directly competing with Russia. In the latest development, the Senegalese military has revealed the purchase of the Norinco CSVM 3C 4x4 light ammo vehicle. This acquisition is an important move towards modernizing the Senegalese military and improving its combat capabilities. This forum was seen during the parade on April 4th. It appears to be a non-amphibious version of the CSVN-3C that was unveiled in China in 2014. Norinco promotes the CNVN-3C with the 30mm turret as a light, air-transportable infantry fighting vehicle that weighs 9 tons and has a 180kW engine and carries a crew of 3 with a passenger compartment for four soldiers in the rear. The CSVN-3C is a new type of light wear armor vehicle specially designed to be used for rapid deployments and for emergency operations. The vehicle can be configured to perform a full range of missions as reconnaissance, urban warfare, or troop transport. It is equipped with a 30mm cannon, a 7.62mm machine gun, and a smoke relay launcher, providing the Senegalese army with a formidable fighting vehicle that can hold its own in combat. The design of the CSVN-3C is quite conventional, with the driver and commander in the front, the turret in the middle, and the tube compartment at the rear. There is a single door on each side of the hull and one at the rear. The hull is made of welded steel armor providing protection against firing of small arms and artillery cell splinters. It can be fitted with bolt-on armor to increase the level of protection. Well, the CSVN-3C has its air intact on top of its glasses and an exhaust running high along its right side. The Celicolis version has intakes at the front and smaller exhausts running around its rear right wheels. The turret of the vehicle can also be armed with an anti-tank guided missile, Red Arrow 73C, a Chinese copy of the Russian made 9M14 Maluka. The Red Arrow line features effective firing ranges from 500 to 3000 meters. In addition to Islamic terror groups in the Sahel, Senegal has been dealing with separatists in its Casamans region, the location of one of Africa's longest running conflicts. As a result, in recent times, Senegal has been expanding its armed forces, receiving patrol boats, training aircraft, armor vehicles, and other equipment. <laughs>